We are gathered here to fill you with fear and give you a treat for your ears as we invade your mind with our scary rhymes and some tales that can be gory. As you bear witness and sit here and listen to our poetic horror stories. Thank you for clicking on our video. This is a how to make a cake tutorial. Baking a cake from scratch is a good way to celebrate any occasion and holiday. From birthdays, weddings, anniversaries, Mother's Day to Valentine's Day. It's a great dessert that most people will never say no to. A cake can make you happy when you are sad, sick or upset. Giving a cake to a family member or to a friend with a cheery message on top. This will make their day and take away their blues. With a cake you just can't lose. Yes, I know we could buy a box cake mix. Or a prepared cake from a store. But when you make a cake from scratch, you show how much you care and you were thinking of them. They know you made the cake with love. It's like they are receiving a great big hug. Today, we are going to bake a red velvet cake. Now, doesn't that sound great? Okay, let's make a list of equipment we will need. We won't be able to bake a cake without these things. You will need a big bowl, a mixer, a big wooden spoon, measuring spoons, measuring bowls, a cooling rack, toothpicks, two cake pans, a plate and an oven. The cake will be made with dry and wet ingredients. I know it's a lot so far, but I promise it will be tasty. It will be like we bought it fresh from a bakery. We will need flour, butter, three eggs, cocoa powder, buttermilk, baking soda, salt, red food coloring, lemon juice and vanilla extract. Now do you have all that? Great. We are now on our way. We are about to start to bake. Oh by the way. I have a special secret added ingredient I will be mixing into my cake. But this will be optional for you. Depending on who you plan to give your cake to. This is just a friendly reminder to please like and comment to let us know how we are doing so far. We would love to hear from you all. And if you're new, please subscribe and become a part of the PHS crew, and we thank you. Step 1. Measure out your ingredients. A good baker knows moving slowly and efficiently leads to better cakes. And if you are organized, you'll make fewer mistakes. Step 2. Mixing your ingredients together. Now we will gradually add in our butter and sugar into our big bowl. Set our mixer speed to low and mix them together nice and slow. Step 3. We are now adding our three eggs to the mixture, mixing them all in together. Mix till you have a smooth and creamy batter. Step 4. Now we are going to blend in the food coloring and the cocoa. We will mix these ingredients in a separate bowl. Whisk the two ingredients together which will become dark red like blood. Once mixed, pour into your batter. Whisk. Now we are halfway done. Step 5. Add in the rest of your ingredients. Your flour, baking soda, salt, vanilla extract and buttermilk. Make sure all your ingredients are mixed. This cake is going to be a hit. Now if you don't want to add in the special secret ingredient, then you can move on to step 6. We'll meet you there once we are finished with this. Now for you all who are still here. There is something I would like to share. I'm making this cake for a client of mine. He's someone I worked with for a long time. But recently we had a major conflict. And now he's another person who is on my shit list. All I can say is I got rid of a big problem for him. Someone at his company was competing with him for a big promotion. He was an obstacle in his way. 
I eliminated his enemy, but once he received his promotion. He stiffed me and he didn't pay. I think I might have to plant him a tree after he eats his congratulation cake. Anyway, I have access to a lab and I grabbed a small vial of an odorless and colorless serum, but it has a bitter taste. You want to know the serum I'm using? Unfortunately, I cannot give out the name. But that's okay, because this is the perfect time to add this serum to the ingredient and mix it into the cake. I would love to see his face after he takes a bite of his cake. But I won't be there. I'm having the cake special delivery straight to his desk. Meanwhile I'll be thousands of miles away. Just watch your evening news at 8. That's all I will say. He shouldn't have tried to play me for a fool. He should have known. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Step 6. Add in the lemon juice. This will help cover the taste of my special secret ingredient. So it won't be detected. Make sure you mix your batter well. To ensure all the ingredients are completely mixed. My client won't be able to resist this cake. Red velvet is his favorite. Step 7. Now pour the cake batter into the two cake pans. Make sure the batter is evenly spread out, so the cake will rise perfectly just the way we plan. Step 8. It's time to bake the cake. Preheat your oven for 5 minutes to 350 degrees. Place your two cake pans into the heated oven, feeling the heat. Now let your cake bake for about 45 minutes till it's a beautiful golden brown. And once it is ready, pull it out. Now you will use the toothpick and poke the center of your cake. When you pull the toothpicks out there shouldn't have any cake batter on it. Don't see any cake batter. No. Okay. That's great. Now place your cake on the cooling rack for about 20 minutes. And we are officially finished. All you have left to do is spread icing on your cake. Now grab a plate, relax, sit back. And enjoy the creation you have made. Thank you for watching our video. This will now conclude how to bake a cake tutorial. If you feel like this was good information and you learned something new, then we love for you to become a part of the PHS crew. Here is what you'll have to do. Please comment, share, like and subscribe. This will let you know when we upload our next video. And thank you, until next time.